Hi, are you there? Yeah. Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. I'm good, very good. Okay, did I answer all of your I'm, questions? I'm listening to you in the, in the, uh, the YouTube. I say, what is this noise here? My God. I say, what a honor, my dear. What can I do for you? Well, I am calling to see if I answered your question in the room this morning or if you have any other questions because I, 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 we haven't been able to connect here. Well, Melissa, what my 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 doubts, it went, it went, I, I do not sign with any platform. Are you there? Yeah, I'm trying to get it so you can see my charts. Let me know. Can you see the screen? Yeah. Okay. All yeah. right. Well, in case you want to go over something. All right. Go ahead. Keep talking. So, uh, when you put an entry, mm -hmm. you when you put a you put an entry. Mm -hmm. I know, like I told you, I don't sign up with any platform yet. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. And I hear you say they have. Uh, uh, you say back in the beginning of the week, you have a trillion of, of brokers out there. You have to find the one that's right for you. Yeah, there's a million. I mean, there's a kajillion you, you can go to. So, you, you know, you, you have to shop around. Anyways, go ahead. What's your question? But the, the thing is, when you put your entry, mm -hmm. you put your entry and then you put the stop. Yes. And then you, you put your target. Yes. And I was confused with the number, how you get you, how, what is you stop, so is, uh, no, what is you lost, what you can afford to lose. I don't know how the, I don't know before how to do the math thing. Okay, all right, let's just look at a cam today, even though this was a long, and again, I was just using this example because this was today's call. Now, just don't get confused though, this, is, this was a long. In order to make money in this today, you would have bought it. You wouldn't have shorted it just to just to make sure. But I'm going to show you this here just to go over this. And I'm just going to make this simple, even though this wasn't the, the exact entry. If you had bought this, oh, hold on. If you had bought it at $70, for example, mm -hmm. and put the stop at $68.50, that would have been okay. $1.50. So you would take a dollar fifty times the number of share quantities that you whatever you would choose to take, and that would be your risk. So a dollar fifty times a hundred shares is what? It's one hundred fifty bucks. Two hundred yes. would have been three hundred bucks. So I don't know what you want to risk, but let's say you're like, okay, I think I'm willing to risk one hundred fifty dollars. So you would uh -huh. have taken a hundred shares of this. Boom, you would have got in. You would have bought it at 70, put the stop at 68.50. If it would have hit through 68.50, which it didn't, but if it would have, you would have lost $150 with a 100 share risk. And if you would have held the trade and stayed with the trade until I said, which was 72 or close to that, you would have made two bucks times yes. 100 shares, you would have made $200. And actually, it went more than that, but I'm just showing you an example. Okay, okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, yes, and it make my, um, a lot of sense now because I do not know. It's like it's like you say, I do not know before how this math was work. You know. What do you mean? It, the, the 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 you stop loss in between you stop loss in between you stop loss and your price and your target. Well, I mean, long, for, yeah, I mean, the targets again are areas. It may, you know, you don't have to hold it to the target. Sometimes things don't go to the target. In this case here, a it did go to the target, and b it went past it. I just want to show you this here. Here it's running, running, running. Some people got out of it. There it was. It pooped over seventy-two, and mm -hmm. I think it even went further here. There it did. See, it went all the way up to seventy-three something. But you don't have to hold it to the target. High of the day was it looks like seventy-three twenty-one. But, but, but it's a, it gives you an idea. The idea is if you're risking 150, you're trying to make at least 150. So yeah, if you're yeah, risking, sure. yeah, you know to, what I mean? Break even. Well, no, not break even. It's one. Break e it's not break even. Break even is you wouldn't have made anything at all. It would have flatlined at 70 where you bought it, but it didn't. It rallied. Yeah. Does that, do you understand? Break yeah, even yeah. is that you wouldn't make anything. 
It wouldn't have been a loss. It wouldn't have been a gain. I'm saying you would have had a gain in this of $200 if you bought it at 70 and held it to 72. Does that make sense? Yeah, I have to. I have to be more strong to read those those charts. And now, so I have to retake the class. That's okay. That's okay. You can do it again in November. But getting back, I, to I need this, yes. Yeah. I want, I want this very bad. Every I know. I can feel it in you. But I think this is great. You're asking good questions. But I think you gotta, you got to start practicing even on a demo because it's been a couple weeks since the class and you haven't like hit any buttons yet. Like I no. just, I mean, I think again, not with real money, but even a demo, so you can get the feel of it. So you can get yes. the feel of doing it with, with a demo account so you can understand at least to see it. But anyways, getting back to what I was saying, you want something concrete. It's the, the stops are different every day. Like yes. for example, in this one here, like yes. this example here, if you bought it at 70 and put it at 68.50, that was $1.50. That's kind of a big stop. But tomorrow it might be 50 cents, in which case then you could take more than 100 shares if you were risking $150. You could take 300 shares and you'd be risking $150 with a 50 cent stop. That's where you're going to have to have a little calculator next to you or you're going to yes. have to figure it out in your head. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have already. I have already. You have a calculator. Uh, okay. And the other thing, Melissa, when, when they stock break down, like you go downhill, this is when I make when I do shorter. Yeah, I mean this was a long. Let's go to WDC. Were you in the room on Friday? Oh no, I wasn't. I work five o'clock in the morning on Friday. Uh, I cannot see you at all on Friday. But I saw the video again. Okay, well then this was the one from Friday. Oh look at this. This completely collapsed on Monday too. All right, so yeah. okay, so what's your question? This was a short. This was Friday was a good one. What's your question on on a shorting? Okay, when the stock break down, like it has a big gap, it go down, yeah. down, downhill. It, I can make a shorter. It's right there that you can make money. You're you're shorting the gap downs if they rate per the system. What what's your question? You lost me. No, uh, when when. You you always can make money when the stock break it go down you and when they go uptrend. No, you're making money shorting when the stock price is dropping. You're making oh. money when the stock price rallies, like today when it moves higher. Does that make sense? This is a unique yes. concept. But the shorting, the short when you short when it falls. Yes, if that's what you're asking me, yes. Is that what you want to know? Yes. Okay. Yes. So yes. this price here, for example, this was Friday. Okay, the uh -huh. stock opened at 47.40. Low in the day was what? $42. And again, that was a huge move for this. It was a dream target. Anyways, yes. the stock moved five dollars and forty cents. It fell. So if you shorted this, if you shorted it on Friday, you made money. If you shorted it Monday, you made money and today too. But anyways, this stock dropped. So you could have made money shorting it. That's what we mostly are doing. Today was unusual, was a, ACAM was a bullish gap up, so that's not a good example to show you here, but the, but this was Friday's, Thursday wasn't anything, what, what other day were you there last week to look at something? Uh, every day except Friday, the only day I cannot see is Friday, because Friday I get up, five o'clock I have to be at work. So here was the one. There, you can see it. This was it. It opened and dropped like a brick. So if you yes. shorted this here, you would have made money, no matter where you got out. If you took the call I gave in this and went poof, like this, wherever yes. you got out, here, 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 anywhere. I love when you say that. What'd you say? It come. I love when you say, come out of the planet and poof. I love it. <laughs> Oh my God, I love it. It, um, is, it is fascinating. It, it is fascinating. Believe okay, me. so do you understand, for example, I'm just going to go over this one here and I'm just making it up now to make it easy. Say you shorted this at 47 and put the stop at 47.50, that would be 50 cents. And yes. if you wanted to risk 300 shares, you'd be risking $150. If the stock went over 47.50, then you would have been out and you would have lost 150 bucks. But if it went on to work, which this did, and it dropped a buck, 
which it went more than that, but a dollar, you would have made what? $300 in a buck, in a dollar move, 300 shares. So that was a good, that was a good profit. Yes. Yeah. And another question, Wendy, you're here. I'm, I'm, I'm going to take advantage. Yeah. Go ahead. When do you, when do you make this stop short? And then you see that the going, going down and down and down, you can move your stop? I don't do that, but if you want to, you can. If you feel like you want to protect yourself, where it's uh -huh. going, say you take it. Say you take it at 47 and it starts to go and you're up and you're up and you're like, oh my God, I don't know what to do. I don't want to lose it. If you want to, you can do that. I don't because if I feel if I feel like it's going to go and if I feel like it could get away from me, then I pretty much say to myself, get out. But anyways, if you want to protect yourself, some people you, do that, then just put it down. You could put it over the high of the bar, you could put it at break even. I mean, you could put it over the previous bar's high. I do not do that. But if you okay, want to do so that, I don't you do could. either. No. I'm doing it whatever you say. Well, no, I mean, you could protect yourself. If you want to be tight and protect yourself, you certainly could do that. I mean, I don't have any problem with you doing that. That is not going to take away from anything we do with the system. I'm uh -huh. just, I just know myself where I'm seeing it. If I feel like it's it's really it's going and it's good and it's a it's a good one then i'm just watching it watching it watching it to take it out but anyways if you want to try to hold it obviously this went way bigger went, it went to the dream target which i did not you know necessarily expect so but eventually like let's say you'd had done that if you said oh if you said one over the previous you would have been yeah. out you would have been out like probably in here so you would have you would have gotten taken out here but you would have